Today, a dangerous question is raised in the gospel. What should I do? It's dangerous because we may not want to hear the answer. Various types of people had gone into the desert and were baptized by John. Then they asked that dangerous question, what should we do? The answer John gave was tailored to the various groups. First the crowd, presumably of rather devout Jews, then the tax collectors, and finally the Roman soldiers. Let's look at them in reverse order. The soldiers were not Jews. They lived outside the customs of the chosen people. So when they asked Jesus, what should we do? Excuse me, when they asked John what we should do, John urged them to treat others with dignity and respect. In other words, do your job by treating others as decent human beings. He did not speak to them in basic religious terms, but he invited them to recognize the worth of the human person. The tax collectors were Jews, but they were condemned by their fellow Jews because of their collaboration with the occupying army and their tendency to collect more taxes than necessary and pocket the difference. John doesn't tell them to stop being tax collectors. Rather, he tells them, be fair. Don't tax anyone above the fixed amount. And finally, he heard the crowd, the devout Jews, who asked what they should do. He responds that they should take care of the poor and dispossessed in their midst. In other words, they need to go beyond the demands of simple justice and that he asked for the tax collectors and enter the realm of charity. What is the message of all of this for you and me? As I stated before, it's dangerous to ask what we should do because we might be told. You know, there's a polite thing to ask when you're in someone else's home. Is there anything I can do for you? And if you're a true guest, the answer usually is, oh, no, nothing. Just sit and enjoy yourself. But if you're family, <laughs> the answer will be much more direct. Please set the table. Carve the meat. Take care of the kids. Well, when we ask ourselves in front of the Lord, what should I do, be prepared for him to be rather direct. He doesn't say, oh, just sit there and be content with your life. There's always something more to be done. This past week on December 8th, Pope Francis opened the holy door at St. Peter's and began a, a jubilee year of mercy. It's a time to thank God for the mercy that he has extended to us, but it's also a time for us to show mercy to others. The Pope said we should put mercy ahead of judgment. But don't we often do the exact opposite and put judgment in front of mercy? Maybe this is the answer to the question this year, what should I do? I should extend mercy to family members and friends. It's not always easy, but it is something we can try to do in this jubilee year of mercy. As we continue our Advent preparation, may we ask the dangerous question and to be open to what the Lord is asking of us.